Hi everybody, sorry I'm late. My dog has the squirts, so I had to take care of that. <laughs> right when I was about to start, he was like, Mem? Mem? So, that takes precedent. Hello! We're gonna make bear claws! Usually I have everything all prepped, but I'm gonna be doing this right now because my dog had the squirts so number one question that I get asked period is my brand of almond flour so here you go Kirkland Costco brand almond flour hi West Off Ranch I'm not wearing your apron today I'm wearing my happy birthday from Heather apron today So any second, now, I mean, immediately. So professional. Mozzarella is melted. I'm going to stir in my egg. The recipe for this is on Instagram and on my website. But that was eight ounces of mozzarella cheese heart skim, low moisture. I'm going to make bear claws. I was talking to Keto Sam I am about trying to save these um, to YouTube, which is super terrifying, but it would be a great, it would be great if I could have a cook along, like a video that went with all of my recipes. And lives are kind of fun. And it would keep me from filming. No, whole milk mozzarella, if it's part, if it's low moisture, if it's full fat, low moisture, does not create a problem. The problem is when people try to use fresh mozzarella, like the, the kind you'd find in like the little balls, that has way too much moisture and you will not get a nice dough. Oh, yay! Well, I'm going to do it, and you can watch, and then hopefully you'll do it too. I made this Danish the other day on a live, and it worked out really well, so I ended up making it again the next day and posting it. But this is an oldie. This is an oldie but goodie. Here, wait, i got to set the scene. i got to get my flowers. i got to make it. I gotta make it inviting. I didn't even light my candle this time. What brand mozzarella? So, I always tell people it is best to buy a block and shred it yourself because I think that, um, I think that the, sh the pre-shredded in it that you can get in the bag are really, really hit or miss. So some of them work, some of them don't, but all of the blocks that I have tried have worked. So I'll show you what I use, but I don't talk about it a lot because not everybody has a Trader Joe's. This is one of the only brands that I have found that's pre-shredded that works. Um, no cream cheese in this. I don't put cream cheese in my dough. You are stirring the crap out of that cheese. Yeah, I am. Just until it's well mixed together. So it's not egg and cheese anymore. It's one blob. Also, I was just chit-chatting, so I wasn't really thinking about it. But yeah, this brand works and Costco brand works for me in terms of like a pre-shredded cheese. A lot of them have like a ton of cornstarch, potato starch, other starches, plant cellulose, like which is just like wood pulp. And they put it in there to keep all of the little shreds from sticking together when they ship the cheese or whatever. But some brands have so much of that um, plant material, like fiber in there, that it just doesn't ever, like it's really dry and cracky and crumbly. All right, so I'm gonna zero out my scale. So that was eight ounces of mozzarella, one egg, and this is gonna be four ounces of almond flour. And 
any minute now. Three point nine nine, good enough. Save this live. So this is sort of an experiment. I'm gonna try to save this live and put it on YouTube because Keto Sam, oh, I do too, I love this scale. It's in my little Amazon favorite things. <clears throat> Every time Sam, Keto Sam I Am, does a little cook along, she saves it to YouTube. Because if you, every time I do a live, I've always saved it to Instagram, but then after 24 hours, it expires. I cannot tell you what you're doing wrong. Um, don't be afraid to put your egg in right with the hot cheese. It won't scramble, it doesn't get hot enough. All right, so. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder to our dry. I like to do dry with dry and wet with wet. And this is a powdered sweetener. This is monk fruit, but you can use, you can use anything. And I usually do two tablespoons. I mean, any keto friendly sweetener. I don't have one yet. This will be the very first, if this works, if this works, this will be my very first YouTube video. So I don't know if it'll work yet, but I did get the, I think I have, it's just going to be like keto copy. Oh no, it's the last of my Canadian monk fruit. All right, good enough. You do not have to use a powdered sweetener. I just choose to because I think it incorporates better. Manifest it. Thank you. I love making recipes. This is a win, 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 win. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. All set. Because I have been chit chatting so much, this may have cooled off to where I will need to Maybe pop it back into the microwave for like 10 seconds. Um, maybe not. But every time I make this dough, it has, since I got the ratios right, like that two parts mozzarella to one part um, almond flour, since I got that ratio right, it has worked out for me every single time. Let's see if I can do this. Yes, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save it. Most cute puppy is sleeping upstairs. He, he's, he's having a little GI issue. He's extremely allergic to like chicken. I don't know what he got into, but we were out three times overnight last night and about six times so far today. So like right at three o'clock when I started to turn this on, he ran to the door and started crying. Uh, no, I got these at Costco too, though. I like them because they're different and they're really light and you can put them in the dishwasher and the microwave, which, and also you can bake with them. Thank you. It'll be fine. Um, I don't think I'll have to heat this up again, but yeah, I don't buy things that I can't put in the di dishwasher or microwave. I'm not fancy enough for like hand washed articles of anything. I have not doubled a fathead recipe. I'm not feeding a ton of people. Um, I've never done this where I made like more than one, um, you know, like big pizza. Oh, thank you. I just treated myself the other day to some new brow makeup. I'm gonna make a bear claw. Can you melt the cheese in a pot? I would say no, because it's just too risky that you're going to burn it but you can melt it in a double burner. So get your pot with like an inch of water simmering, put another pot on top, the steam will heat, or sorry, bowl, the steam will heat your bowl enough to melt the cheese, but steam only ever gets so hot, so you won't, you don't have to worry about burning your cheese. I know a lot of people, um, did I say making bear claws? Making bear claws. I know a lot of people don't have microwaves and they're always asking me how to melt their cheese. So I always say double boiler. What is a good response to people who say keto isn't sustainable? Um, it's not a quick fix. 
you will probably lose a lot of weight at first, which is water weight. Um, I would just point them in the direction of the giant groups of people that eat this way naturally for their entire lives, for generations and generations and generations. Like, Inuit people live on like 80% animal fat. They can't grow. They have a very short growing season, so they're not going to be eating grains. What is a bear clock? Google it. Don't like microwave. How much almond flour again? This was four ounces, but my recipe is on, yep, it's a sweet pastry, exactly. Um, my recipe is on Instagram and on my website, and I just put, I think, if you go to my webpage and you hit the link in my bio, I just put the bear claw towards the top so people could find it. Yes, magic pill, that was great. And then that sugar, that sugar film, is also interesting about how our typical, you know, standard American diet was really sort of forced upon us by the sugar industry. And I'm not a giant, like, um, conspiracy person, but when you see, like, documentation that these corporations purposefully misled people, mm-hmm. Exactly. We love both of those films. Me too. Am I talking to Greg or Christy? Or one of the pigs. I'm going to cut a piece of parchment much larger than I need, but I'm going to reuse it to bake it. And then I am also going to reuse it to store leftovers. Thank you. I think she really pretty. There's the magic pill. Um, I have <laughs> I have this food scale listed on my um, Amazon storefront, my little uh, marketplace. I don't know what it's actually called. You saw me do it. I'm not like there's no magic, right? I think it's just experience. It's just like I do this all the time. All right, so to make the bear claw, I'm going to try to roll out a square so that I can do three long strips of the dough. When I did the nutritional breakdown, I did it for six servings, which is like you, you know, eat half of one bear claw and it came out to like 2.2. So God forbid, worst case scenario, you eat one whole bear claw. It's still like four grams and I usually cut them into fourths. I've never eaten a whole bear claw. I find anything made with fat head to be like super duper filling. All right, so another trick to roll out perfect edges is to take your parchment I've given myself just about half an inch of room there. Take your parchment, fold it, and then when you roll it against the edge here, that was a horrible example and I'm starting over because it's my video and I can do whatever I want. Kind of going slower than I normally would because I'm shit shit. All right, sorry flowers. Does that make any sense? I don't, I just know that my particular almond flour is one net carb. One net carb per ounce. any questions, any, anything like real important, just remind me. And I don't like the rolling pins with the like 
two handles. I like to, re I feel like you get a lot of good control with this one. Oh, good. Um, I do have lupin flower. I have, I have um, experimented with the lupin flower. Not ever full strength. I've always subbed a little bit of almond flour with lupin flour. Like it works really well with those pepperoni twists. There's like this, oh my God, Meg called it like the point of no return. When you have lupin flour in a, in a recipe that like all you can taste is the lupin flour. So I've never made it like full strength, but it does work really well. I have found for savory things like those pepperoni sticks. And this is so unnecessary. It, nothing has, you can do, if you wanna make this pastry, just make it as a giant log and fold it over. It doesn't have to be this, but I just enjoy this. So I take all these extra steps because it's fun for me. This should be the last one. But yeah, you. this is not like, if you don't get your edges straight, it won't taste good. Yes, Magic Pill. Such a great movie. I feel like I met someone, one of the women that was in that movie. Um, or somebody that was in that movie a really long time ago messaged me. And I was like, what? Because I loved that movie. I thought it was so well done. This is boring. You guys don't want to watch me make a perfect square. All right, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Okay, wait, one more. <laughs> calling it good enough. And also, because I'm taking my time, it's gotten a little cooler, which makes it a little bit harder to roll out. But we did pretty well. We got a square going. It's not like one I would take a picture of and put it on the internet, but I'll make it live on the internet. Oh, keep going with the perfect square. I would have stopped a long time ago. Um, most people would, most people would, and probably should. All right, let's do this. So to make the actual little bear claw pastry with the little toes, I cut this into three strips. I need a knife, but I want my favorite knife. So I'm gonna visualize the third. Oh, that was awful. And a third. See, I didn't get it right, so I'm going to have all these wonky. But I'll just do this one and roll those perfectly after I get this one done. So, this one will be my demonstrator. I didn't even make my filling yet. together. This is my keto closet if I ever if you ever see that in my stories. I have a tiny pantry that's nothing but keto snacks. It's my pride and joy. Quarter cup almonds, which I think works out to be like two ounces. One third cup. Oh no, that's only one. Did I really only use one? All right. It says I only used one. We'll see if that's true. One quarter cup is 30 grams and 28 grams is an ounce. So quarter cup is about one ounce. I 
know, isn't it pretty? I got to pick it. Although, I think I would like white. I love the like really white quartzy ones, but certainly not gonna complain about having a nice countertop. It is a gas stove. Hello! I also went to the store and got my favorite sweeteners. They're both erythritol blends. This says monk fruit with erythritol but it's urethritol with monk fruit. So I just found this at um, World, Cost Plus World Market for $5.99, which is like $2 cheaper than I can find it online. And then Truvia is always, for some reason, always for sale for like $4.99 at my Target. Um, that was just one egg for an egg wash. <laughs> Yay! The kitchen is my, I would live in the kitchen if I could, if I didn't have any other like needs, like sleep or showering. I even like cleaning my kitchen. All right, so I'm doing two tablespoons of sweetener. because I want to make the glaze when this goes into the oven. Nope. I'm just making the regular bear claw. It has an almond. Truvia, every, everything is zero. It's a mixture. The carbohydrates that are listed is urethritol, so it's a sugar alcohol, so you can subtract it. These are both zero. Now, some Truvia, some Truvia that comes in the bags um, is a blend. You have to be really careful. Um, yep, they're both exactly the same. Zero, zero, zero. Um, <laughs> yeah, my mom just went keto like a month and a half ago, and she had this big thing of Splenda. And when she showed me the bag, it was like a blend. So it had like two or three carbs per teaspoon. You have to be really careful. They're real tricky or they'll say like naturals and you think it's stevia. It's not. Yep. All right. So my mixture is just all melting together. Usually just boiling it like this for a little bit. The butter, the sweetener. Oh, I still need um, vanilla and almond. Um, it thickens up kind of naturally. If you're ready to go, you can use a little tiny, tiny touch of xanthan gum. I don't think I did on the last one. I'm glad we talked about that too. I don't think I used xanthan gum on my last batch, but we'll see. My super precise measurements. I'm the only one eating this, so I don't care if I get a little heavy handed. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of almond extract, the actual measurements. I really hope it works. The last live I did, we were talking about how terrifying it is to sort of jump onto YouTube because I feel like I'm in this little precious bubble of Instagram that is so lovely and supportive and nice. Like people say, you must get harassed constantly. And I'm like, not really. I really don't get any nasty messages. But I feel like YouTube is like where the professional nasty message writers live. So I hope it works out. And I hope I'm tough enough. Think for the 
sake of time, I might put a little bit of, thank you, we'll see. Yeah, the troll thing, it's interesting. Getting online trolled has actually made me tougher in real life. Get my whole face in here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, people, people are mean, but people are also, they have a lot of issues and a lot of challenges and there's a lot of miserable people out there, out there in the world. And when someone takes precious time out of their day to say something mean to you, they don't know you at all, they know nothing about you, then it's really easy to say, this has nothing to do with me. Like, it's much easier in real life. Yay, thanks. I'm gonna do it, we're gonna see. We're gonna try to save this and then put it up tonight. Oh, this smells so good. I love almond extract so much. Exactly, they're projecting, which it's easier to, to see in strangers. You're like, how can you be mad at me? You know nothing about me. And like I said, it's kind of made me tougher in real life because if I get into it or like a friend says something stupid, then I'm like, oh, this has nothing to do with me. They're having a real bad day. So yeah, I'm just simmering this little guy. You can see it's already thickening up a lot. We're almost there. I should have done that first. If I was a professional, I should probably also turn my oven on. It smells so good. It smells so good. Yeah, if I was a professional, I would have had all my stuff all laid out. I'm just a lady. Yay, thank you. Just a lady, puts all her food on the internet. I'm not a professional yet. But I'm learning. Oven to 350, correct. I'm getting ready for a date watching. Oh, that's hysterical. Good luck, let me know. Let me know how it goes. It smells so good, it smells so good. You just said date. In my head, that was like first date. Is this a date? Is this a date that like a second date or like a 50th date? Dough. The pot is my filling that's simmering. So it's sliced almonds, heavy cream, butter, sweetener, vanilla, and almond extract. And the exact measurements are on my website. <laughs> Perfect or blind date. Oh my God. Oh, you have to like, we're all invested now. You have to let me know how it goes. I'm so into all this. All right. Nice and thick and it'll thicken up even more as it cools. I think we're almost ready. Who set you up? Blind date, who set you up? I know, me too, me too, I'm so excited. Is this like a friend, a coworker? Like who did this to you? Who did this to you? Gonna be your, oh, I hope so. But hey, you don't need any luck. And you're not trying to impress anybody. You're not trying to win anybody over. They're trying to win you guys over. I think so. Matchmaker, oh my gosh. This just gets better and better and better and better. Yeah, this is not an audition. This is not an audition for you. This is you guys getting to know each other. He's trying to win you over. He or she, I don't know, I just made an assumption. Your date is trying to win you over just as much as you're trying to win them over, but it's not an audition, it's not a tryout, you're not trying to win anybody. Okay, girl? Okay. All right, so it is pretty thick. 
I would simmer this probably for another minute or two if it was just me, but you guys are here, so I'm going to add a dash of xanthan gum to speed this up. And I want to make sure I know where it is, because that's going to be another fun thing for you guys to do. Ha! I pulled it out. Thank you. Yes, he's trying to win you over. Exactly! Exactly! I was just talking about this. The I can't really see your face, but you look very young. About how dating I always felt like, you know, you're trying to make the best impression. Well, just like, okay, yeah, of course you're trying to make the best impression. But you're trying to win someone over. And then the older you get, you're like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not, I don't care if you like me. Like, do I like you? Is this going to work or not? It's on my Amazon marketplace. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and it's like a, it's a $39 scale, but I bought it when on sale for 27 so I have an alert. The next time it goes on sale, I'm going to put it in my stories because I love it, but I'm not about to buy a $40 scale. And I linked a much cheaper one too. It's the same brand. It has a really good reputation and they give um, some of their profits to charity and it's $10. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do not care. I do not care. All right. So, I'm going to take my egg wash and I am going to just run it all along the edge, every single edge on the inside here. Then when I fold everything over, it will help the dough stick together. Again, not necessary. You can just make this like a Danish and just fold it up and seal it up. Yep. You still look young to me. I'll go wash this after. I'll go find you. I mean, I'm definitely going to find you because I need to know how this date's going to go. All right, so I usually wait until this is like completely cooled. I'm going to add a third because I have two other guys here to fill. I'm going to add a third of my filling. Oh wait, how did I do this? I did it in the middle last time. That's what I did. I folded it and then I folded it over. All right, you guys, this might be a disaster. We're gonna we're in this together now. Ready? Nope, we did it. We're good. Ta-da! So the edges, because we egg washed them should stick together pretty well and they do and I'm not doing anything fancy I'm just pressing the edges together I'm gonna put it seam down <laughs> exactly capital N necessary Half of my instructions, like when I do stories, are like asterisk, not necessary. All right, so. Also, if you are a psycho like me, you can take a pastry cutter with a blunt edge, I think mine's dirty, and press this edge down, like cut like the tiniest bit off, because that sort of cutting action seals everything up really nicely. All right, so that's going to leak a little because I folded it over and it squished. These are going to be good. These are sealed together. Can you see? 
I guarantee you this little bit right here is going to leak, but this side won't. It's going to be so good. All right. Now, don't freak out. Yeah, you can use a fork. You can use anything. I will get to this. I store anything fathead based in a Ziploc bag, like a gallon Ziploc bag. Um, if it's in the fridge, I just throw them in the fridge. If I'm going to freeze it, then I cut. I will do this at the very end. Cut pieces of parchment. This parchment's going to be with us for the whole day. I'm going to bake on it. I rolled on it, and then I'm going to cut it up to use for storage. That way, when everything's frozen together, they just pop off. Like, they pop away from each other. All right, so... For the little toes, they got five the first time I did this. So don't freak out that I'm cutting through this because the cut kind of seals it a little bit. Yeah, the, la the first time I did this, I only gave him four toes. And then I was like, wait a minute. So he's got some wonky toes. Going to spread it out just a little bit. And I'm going to rub some egg wash on it just with my fingers because this is my bear claw. Started with clean hands, have done nothing but touch food that I'm going to eat. I washed my hands after I checked my dog out. Even though I know things can't get through plastic, it's gross to pick up after your dog. So mentally I have to wash my hands. All right. I don't need all of this in there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. You also don't have to do this part. Tell your daughter, not necessary. Yeah, right? It's going to be a little bear claw. So into the oven, 350 for about 15 minutes. And then when I am freezing treats, I cut parchment paper like this, the same piece, because A, why would you throw it away? It's super wasteful. B, I'm cheap. Oh, okay, I'll do that for this one. I'll do that for this one. <laughs> okay, 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 this is happening. Okay, 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 we'll do another one and then I will give it, <laughs> I will give it toenails. That's adorable. Why didn't I think of that? Obviously, it's been a really... Yep, same dough. Um, the, the cinnamon pecan Danish from yesterday, I did add a little bit of cinnamon to the dough because I love, um, you know, I've said this in on my website, all the fathead recipes. Fathead is really easy to scoot in any direction. So like my cheesy buns, my cheddar cheese buns have a dash of garlic powder in them. My... Onion buns have a dash of onion powder in them, and then these have sweetener in them, and the almond, bear claws, the almond will give this a lot of flavor, but um, for like cinnamon rolls and everything, I always put a dash of cinnamon in the dough, because it just, it's just so easy to sort of nudge in any direction. Nope, it's fine, I'm just trying to make it square. I just did that because, once again not necessary but fun okay this guy's gonna get toes this guy's getting toes and this time I'm gonna remember to do the middle third ah oh, it smells so good And I will wait and cook these two after because 
I want to keep that shut for the whole 15 minutes. And I have a brush too, but I think my brush is dirty. I'm telling you, you guys. So scattered. But fingers work too. And it's just egg. It's one little scrambled egg. All right. Gonna pinch my edges together and what you see there is just the egg wash which helps it stick <laughs> thank you no it was really fun the other one was really fun too these are hard for me because I'm shy it takes a lot of like mental so this is what I meant too about just cutting it. When you just cut the tiny bit, the knife sort of presses it shut for you. So it might look, you know, like I'm cutting a lot off. I'm not, I only cut that much off. But the physical like knife pressing down through layers just seals everything really well. I probably don't need to do it on this side, but I will just to show you. <laughs> Look at this one's better. I'm going to show you this side. Oh, thanks. Um, no, this is a bear claw, so it's almonds. There's almonds inside. Oh, boy. I didn't set a timer. <laughs> so I'm going to estimate that was in for six minutes and we'll peek. I have deep fried the dough. I have several recipes up, fried empanadas. I use the 10-5, so it's, there's no sweetener, there's no anything else in the dough. So 10 ounces of mozzarella, five ounces of, five ounces of almond flour, and then I roll it out and I cut the little circles. I fried it for like fake apple pies. I've fried it for empanadas. It fries, I've made churros. It fries really well. Oh, good. Yeah, thanks. It gets easier every time. It's just the pull in the trigger, which is why I announced it this morning so that I would have to follow through. I know. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Yay, I'm so glad. All right, so this guy's getting little toenails. I should do one with no egg wash so you can see the difference. It just makes it, ha it have, gives it a tiny sheen so it looks a little bit more like a traditional pastry. Um, hang on, I'm going to wash my hands before I open my almonds. I do not want to introduce egg into my almond bag and um I know that I said that when you cut it nothing comes out but this dough has been sitting on my granite and it's cooled off a lot so it did separate a little bit I'm not worried about it um but the longer that had dough cools the longer that had dough cools the harder it is to work with the, the less pliable it becomes which makes sense because it's cheese if you melt a bowl of cheese in the microwave and then go get it 10 minutes later, it's going to be firmed up. All right, so we gotta make these great. Okay, we're gonna give him lo her long nails. We're gonna do a little overlap. She's gotta press on. This is making me impossibly happy. And also, I buy these just to eat as snacks because since they're sliced it feels like you get a lot more right okay you have to remind me whose idea this was because I have to thank them hand selected curated 
toes, bear claw claws, bear claw nails. This is what cute for pinky. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, it's sort of like Halloweeny. my gosh. <laughs> it's artisanal hand selected press-ons. Oh, this is so creepy. I wonder if I stick them back a bit, if it's less, okay, this is a little less creepy. Like, I can't handle the overlap. It looks like, raw. Okay, wait. Well, now they don't look like little toenails. Happy medium. Happy medium. This guy's got to go back. All right, happy medium. That's a little better. <laughs> Who said to do this? You're my new hero, stiletto nails. Oh man, this is exciting. All right, so I'll wait on the third one. Let's do this. I use the same little pot to make my glaze as I did to make my filling because there's so many of the same ingredients. So I'm just going to save my filling and I'm not even going to wash the pot. I'm just going to make sure that there's no almonds in there. It does not matter. But there's no reason to start over all of your... All of your ingredients are pretty much the same, and then, I mean, you're going to be eating it all together anyways. So, for the glaze, we're going to do butter. I'm just going to make a tiny bit of glaze. Butter. Heavy cream. do a little bit of Truvia. There's actual measurements on the website, don't worry. I'm just making like a single serving. So like one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, a couple drops of vanilla, and then I'm gonna put like a half of a tablespoon of cream cheese. Actually, I'm not, not today. Not today. I'm just gonna melt that all together and then Okay, but but it's great. Like I'll admit that I hate dishes and that I try to avoid them with like with like spend a lot of energy avoiding doing dishes. <laughs> but also, like it's like the parchment thing. Like it's unnecessary. You just cooked it. There's not germs. It's real hot. Yep, me too. As few dishes as possible. All right. What do I do with my coffee? Oh yeah, there it is. So, we got, oh my god, it's so cute. It probably needs about five more minutes. But it's real cute. I wish I could so show you. Maybe one day I'll have a fancy enough set up and a work functioning um, oven light where I can show you. S exactly. It's got a whole bunch of really good stuff in there. When in combination, like almond and vanilla. And also, butter and heavy cream. If you accidentally cook it too long or you have leftovers or anything, save it for your coffee. Save it for tomorrow's coffee. Because get what? guess what I put in my coffee? Oh, this is great. Such overkill. Yeah, guess what I put in my coffee? Butter and heavy cream and sweetener. There's so many things you can do with butter and heavy cream. You can't not, you, you can't have a bad combination of butter and heavy cream. Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
Sometimes I have good ideas. Sometimes I don't. All right, so can you see? It's bubbled together, it's thickened. It will thicken a little bit more as it cools. If it's too solid when it goes time to like sprinkle or drizzle it over my bear claw, then I will heat it up again. Sometimes I don't even do it, but it does add just like that little, I'm eating a real donut. You're welcome. Thanks, I would love to. I have wanted um, people, I don't know, people sound sometimes when they're like, I don't know how this happened. I can't believe it. Why would anyone choose to follow me? And I catch myself doing that sometimes where I'm like, I don't know how this happened. Like Instagram was never part of my plan, but I will 100% be super duper honest that I've always wanted a food blog because it's what I like to do the most. It's my most fun hobby. So when I kind of started over a year ago, I was like, I'm going for it. And it took me from February until December to pull the trigger on that. I published, oh thanks. <laughs> I published my blog on December 11th and I did it live and I was like, you guys, so like Instagram like built me up like built me up and let me like, you know, people are following me. Maybe I can do this. Um, thank you. I love to, like I said, I am not going to lie about being ambitious, being ambitious about my food blog. I've always wanted a food blog. I would love like kill to write a cookbook. I hope it's in my future. I'm working towards it, but I probably need more than like 30 recipes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I published my blog live. I was like, you guys, this is awful. It's not finished. I have one recipe up. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I was like, but this is a big deal that I'm doing something before it's finished. Because I am the kind of person who will put something off forever because it's not perfect. And I need to like, get over it. It's time to like get over yourself. Yep. Oh, my mom was raised in Miami. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be shy about it. Like when I get to 150 recipes, I will write publishers. Yep. Yes, anything that you're going through in your whole life, you're not alone, you didn't invent it. Yep, I know, I know, I know. I don't remember. But I do remember it was on a canal. It was like a little, her dad had a landscaping business. And it was like on a little development that had like a canal. And they're just tiny Florida homes. I know I can, but I need help. I know my limitations. I'm making a bear claw. Let's check on it. Oh, it's real cute. It needs one more minute. Bear Claws, rawr. That's from a, a show. I don't just say that. But now, it's almost done. Now I can't say Bear Claw without saying Bear Claw, rawr. <laughs> this is like the least helpful clue. It's near water. It's near water. And then she moved to Lake City when she was in high school. What did I put in it? Whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, the toenail one is going in next. That was an amazing idea. So cute. Ridiculous. All right, we're ready. Oh, I should have like my pretty towel instead of like all my yucky work towels, but I'm authentic. This is mine from childhood. <laughs> I know that's sort of the joke. What's going on outside your window? You said you can see everything. I can see everything. 
So there's a little bump out right here in my house and this window faces the street so I can see like neighbors and kids and runners like, good job, keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> She's so cute. There she is. I'm going to pop this onto a dish and then put this one on. Let's see. So prepared and professional. I'm just really glad that my dog has like held it. Very glad. I think I think we're almost out of the woods. Which, if you've, I don't know, I don't have children, but I'm sure people have dealt with like a little stomach bug. It's not fun. Yes, 15 minutes. All right. Isn't she cute? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I did. So there is the little bear claw. I'm gonna put a little bit of glaze on there. Just for funs and for fancies. And usually like in the picture on my website, it's a little brighter because I did put like half of a tablespoon of cream cheese. Makes it a little thicker, but a little thicker, a little lighter. But actually, it doesn't really need it. Like I might put this on there as an alternative. Stay. It's because I'm using the world's most largest. Ta-da! Wait, I like to crush these when I put them on top just a little bit. So that you know what you're eating, you put a little on top. Trick of the trade! Uh, that's like a shell. I'm gonna leave that one. That's a shell. Bear claw! Thanks guys. Shall we try some? Probably should. Probably should. Hang on, let me get a picture of it first. For the Facebooks. No, for, definitely not for the Facebooks. This is like what you're looking at right now is where every single picture that has ever been taken and put on my Instagram is right here in front of this window. And usually I take it with my cell phone, but I just got a fancy camera. So now I'm trying to up my game, I'm trying to up my game. Bear claw. All right. Do you guys want me to say goodbye or would you like to see the Yep, natural light. Would you like to see the little, the little toes? I got a Canon Rebel. It was $4.49 at Best Buy that will match any online advertised price. And it came with two different lenses and a battery pack and a card and a case and a strap and a cleaning kit. Like I waited until I found something and then I struck. My friend that's a photographer has a Canon Mark something, like a $5,000 camera. And eat it. Okay. And she was sort of giving me a tutorial, but this is my very first fancy camera. I've always liked taking pictures, but I've never had a fancy camera. Okay, one more. See, like, turn it on. I got that part down. But now if I post this, you guys will be like, I was there and I saw her take that picture. And then she took that picture. All right, let's eat. Let's eat. 
one slice. This is what I mean. I could never eat a whole one. I mean, in my past life, I for sure could have, but. Ooh, can you see?